Stem cell treatment offers the potential for millions of patients who are seeking non-invasive options to treat or repair damaged areas of their body. New technologies make it possible to use the patient's own cells for treating various conditions with no risk of rejection. Dr. Jim Amsbury, a plastic surgeon at the San Diego Stem Cell Treatment Center, discusses how this treatment is done. So I'm involved with a group, uh, two prominent orthopedic surgeons, and uh, my role is really to harvest the cells, uh, the fat cells, and then begin the processing so that they can inject these uh, cells, which are predominantly stem cells, into uh, arthritic and degenerative joints. I'm also uh, linked with uh, some people on the basic science side that are looking at stem cells, their characteristics, and also thinking of ways to adapt them to wound healing in terms of creating a gel that these stem cells could be delivered in to, uh, to use them in wounds, open wounds, disease, trauma, and that sort of thing. The way to look at this is right now we're, we're treating wounds with, uh, you know, debreeding them, cleaning them, trying to get better blood supply. What stem cells do on top of this is a stem cell has the ability to adjust to its microenvironment. In other words, uh, it's the difference between bringing in a marine battalion versus special forces. The stem cell is able to identify what's going on in the wound and then mold itself and applicate itself to decrease inflammation and potentially regenerate tissue. So in essence, that's what's going to happen with the wound care industry and stem cells. It's going to revolutionize it. I have a patient, uh, Mr. Hurtado, who uh, is from the service. He was, uh, had a devastating injury in Iraq, uh, which uh, he lost his abdominal wall, the anterior abdominal wall, the front part of the abdomen. And so I was involved in reconstructing that uh, using several steps in the process, which meant recruiting tissue from around by putting expanders underneath, and then using biologic again, non-human biologic, uh, to recreate the abdominal wall. And the problem is, is that you don't recreate it perfectly because at this point we didn't have the ability to regenerate muscles and nerves. And so that's one of my exciting um, areas I, I, I see growing in this industry is the ability eventually to create his own muscles and nerves for him. I was uh, wounded in Iraq back in 2000, February 17, 2005. It was due to a suicide car bomb, a laceration to the abdomen. I ran into Dr. James Dansbury. We had to wait a year in order for my whole injury to heal from the inside and out. He did uh, tissue expanding, uh, expanding my tissue, uh, also uh, taking care of my wounds. Rehab was about two years, doing all right. Doing great, doing as much as I can, best as I can. I'm working at my community hospital as a pharmacy technician. The future for stem cells in the plastic surgery world uh, in terms of reconstruction, wound care, are really extraordinary. This is a new toolbox for plastic surgeons. Up to this point, we've been able to borrow tissue from other parts of the body and replace like tissue with like tissues. Uh, but that creates a scar and a deficit somewhere else in the body, potentially. So stem cells, moving forward, the hope is we'll be able to recreate muscle groups, skin, um, connective tissue, bone, and be able to use that in the reconstructive process without borrowing it from somewhere else on the person's body. And so I think that that is going to revolutionize the world of medicine and particularly the world of plastic surgeons because what plastico means in Greek to mold or to shape and here is a toolbox where we'll literally be able to to potentially do that. People should be cautious about uh, stem cells and what people are advertising for stem cells much the same way if, uh, with an investment if it's too good to be true it probably is. You should also look at those who are involved in the process to see what their credentials are, what their reputation is and if the claims are fallacious or seem over-exaggerated, they probably are. Probably the best thing to do is to talk to patients that have had uh, care delivered by those folks. And that way you, you'll find out whether they're valid or whether they're just using stem cell to market a product.